In this video, in the next three minutes, we're going to offer you some thoughts on the difference between spirituality versus religion. I'm Mark Gilbert here. Thanks for clicking in. This video, like all the ones on this channel, are designed to give you tools and ideas for assisting with our spiritual evolution. If you find it helpful, be sure to hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel. That lets YouTube know that you like what we're doing here. You know, I believe that we're all spiritual beings, but we're moving through this human worldly experience. And that one key part of this experience that we're all having is that we ask deep questions trying to understand life. Questions like, who am I? Why am I here? What is the meaning of life? Do I have a purpose? Do I continue to be me after I die? And other similar questions. You know, our answers to these questions then tend to guide how we see the world and drive our choices and behavior in the world. In a sense, these thoughts, beliefs, and choices around these key questions are parts of our spiritual nature. And seen in this light, even atheists and materialists hold spiritual beliefs. Now, the truth is, humanity has been asking these questions about life since they first recognized that they could think and that they could think about their thinking. And yet along the way, there have been some key people who've had deep, mystical experiences of understanding, direct revelations of truths that they felt transcended the material world. And these people sought to teach others about their revelations. These are people like Jesus and Buddha and Muhammad, and of course, many other spiritual teachers. Yet other humans around them in time, through their humanness, took those mystical teachings and created institutions. This is our religions. These religions that were created up around them, they included rules and statements of what to believe and rituals and so on. In a sense, they became the intermediary between us and the divine, taking us further and further away from the mystical origins of their faiths and beliefs. The fact is, for many years throughout human history, most people have used these answers from religion to answer these main deep questions that we ask. Yet, these institutions have been slow to evolve and change in response to the changes that humanity has experienced, resulting in many people moving beyond religion for seeking answers to the questions of meaning. Beginning mainly back with the Enlightenment, many people began seeking answers from science. And science has served us to understand the material world better and to raise our standard of living. However, there are others who realized that even with all the gifts of science, it too had limitations, and that there are still key questions of meaning that can't be answered purely from a materialistic standpoint. Questions about purpose and meaning of life, about consciousness and our inner awareness, about the experiences that we have about transcending these physical bodies. It's in these people who seek the truths from both science and the material nature of life, as well as pursuing answers from spiritual teachings and practices that are free from the dogma of old religions, that we consider spiritual but not religious. It is these people who seek to have their own experience of the divine without any religious dogma directing them. This is what I believe. What do you think? Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. There's a similar video right here next to my face if you want to click on it. Also, if you want to get notifications of future videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button on the bottom left-hand corner. If you'd like to contact me, email me at the address on the screen or drop me a comment in the comment field below on YouTube. Thanks.